This is the uh, an impromptu meeting of the Holy Name Society uh, as part of an interview for the parish history. It's August 4th at 6.10 a.m. Uh, tonight present are Bob Elk, Fred Sadler, Mark Schauber, and Jeff Menz. Okay. Uh, Bob, if you want to start yeah, again, sure, a little sure. bit about the history of how we all started, the, how it got started, when it was sure, started. Yeah, uh, Bob Elk, uh, I've been a member since about 1988, and, and I followed some of the... Uh, archives and information and so forth that's been in our possession. And I did run across some information that kind of indicated that the, the Holy Name Society at St. Matt's was established in and around 1962, which kind of also reflects on what the Archdiocese of Milwaukee um, initiated um, the presence of the Holy Name, which when they started out, it seemed like it followed under the, the guidelines or the name of the National Council of Catholic Men. And it was an organization that was founded um, to attract uh, men of the parish. The, the focus of the parish was to um, support um, the, the, the poor, the handicapped, and, and so on and so forth in the, in the name of Jesus. Uh, at, at the time of 1962, there had to be, I would guess, somewhere around 60 to 70 Holy Name Societies throughout the Archdiocese of Milwaukee. The largest one on record was 650 wow. men who were part of the Holy Name back then. There were five large organizations that were 500 plus. Uh, it reflects back, at least in terms of St. Matthews, in 1962 there was 126 members. Okay. Uh, and of course uh, it has, has gone down since then. Uh, almost to the point where even within the Archdiocese of Milwaukee, there's not that many really registered Holy Name Societies. And, and I'm just going to guess. Uh, th there's probably not more than 25. That's just my guess. And that's only reflected on the fact that on occasions we had um, wanted to find out information about the Holy Name, other parishes in the area that had Holy Names uh, as a part of their organization within the parish. And... Um, called down at the Archdiocese and there's really is very little, um, let's put it, it's, it's not anywhere near, by no means, um, what that that number was represented back when it was started. Um, and, and just looking at uh, some of the information, it was so much more sophisticated than we are today. This is a card file that they had on all their members and so forth alphabetically. They had a um, uh, bio on everything, everybody that was a member uh, filed in here. Um, they so they our, the history of our holy name is pretty much is uh, names. Uh, names and things like that. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. And, and, and the minutes that I found, the ones that of course we have more recently, but I see back to 1984, 85 is what I've, what they have in the archives that here. Just so you can look at that. Um, this was just some more clippings that was randomly in there, kind of upcoming events that featured the Holy Name Society as a, being a part of St. Matthew's at, uh, um, as a part of Holy, uh, of St. Matthew's. We were, um, it appeared that Holy Name Society chartered the, started the Boy Scouts in, in, oh, okay. in the Holy Name, or Holy Name chartered the, the Boy Scouts Cub Scouts. As we can see here, this one goes back to 210 of 85. That might have been the beginning. I'm not positive, but that would look, it, there's might, might be more floating around, but this is all that I could come across with. Okay. We chartered the Scouts, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And basically, uh, it, it, here again, this is just some information in there, the, the Pentecostal uh, Sundays and so forth. I saw some information in here, some more data as far as the different parishes. They string from all the way, way north up into um, uh, just just about Fond du Lac County, uh, down to you know, Racine, okay. going west, you know, probably Waukesha, etc. pretty much that. That whole spectrum is where you'll see 
when we're uh, all, when we're all done, Bob, if I can get these things, I'll yeah, make copies can, or scan them or something. You, yep. you can keep them, and we'll just put them back. No, I, I want to be careful about that because I know what happens. No, that's, that's, fine. that's no problem. That's when I'll get brought up by friend to be a boat officer. And all the name. Um, <laughs> I, I would say that we 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 over the years got away from the the, the integrity, the prestige of the holy name. It was, I think looked upon as a much more integral part of the parish. There's nothing else just by size, the number of men that was represented. But they had a regular application that you had to fill out for. Oh, wow. That was a part of um, the process. Uh, there's essentially you know, the Milwaukee um, Archdiocese Council of Catholic Men. It was kind of a guideline that was used to follow your uh, charter, so to speak. Um, I remember we used to follow the meetings, the Robert's Rules and Orders, much more precise right, yes. in terms of organization sure. meetings and accomplishment, um, appropriating monies, funds, taking on projects and so forth was a, I think a much more um, sophisticated, if you would say. Okay. But I can understand with 125 members, you need to be a little yeah. more- Organized, yes. Yes, whereas <laughs> uh, when you've got you know, 10 to 12, it's, it's it's much more quickly accomplished, etc. But still, I think there's something to be said um, that so, it, it's probably a little more sophisticated, if you want to say. So I got, I started, like I said, maybe four or five years ago. I, I don't remember exactly when, but Daly, Pat Daly, drug me into one. Jeff, because we were ushering together, mm -hmm. okay. and Jeff, when are you, uh, you know, come to and join us? And so. That's how I started. Why don't you guys all, Mark, starting with you, why don't you share how you got, how you came into the organization uh, and... Probably about, I don't know, seven to eight years ago, something like that. And Mark Zapp dragged me into it. Mark and I were good friends and he was active in a lot of things in the church. And he said, hey. So I said, okay. <laughs> and uh, I've been doing it that, like say about eight, eight years or so. Okay. I mean, I just guessing, something like that. Okay, Brad, how about you? Yeah, my wife kicked me in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> you, will, you will join. <laughs> Basically, but, and I think I came in some, somewhat close to when you did, Bob. Yeah, I think. It has to be. I, because I, I think with the boys, I think basically because of the kids, okay, I remember this here Cub Scout thing, okay, Sakamando mm -hmm. was leading it when and he's my name. Keith, when Keith was, mm -hmm. sorry, because Keith was born in 77. So this would have been about the time he started Cub Scouts, okay? I think, yeah. And I think shortly after that, when he got out of there, we had a break between kids, obviously. Uh, yeah. <laughs> for Eric came along, okay, you know, seven years later. So I think it was somewhere about that point in time, in okay. the early 80s, for sure. Okay. okay? And we, well, we moved in Oak Creek in 80. Okay. So I know it was before that, that obviously. Okay. okay. Well, I, what, what got you started? Well, I, I, I mean, you said about the same time. Cool turning the festival back in 87, 88. Okay. And I met Rudy. Yeah. And Rudy said, Yo, we need somebody to do some cooking for us. That's essentially how I got involved through Rudy. And and I can remember about 1988 getting okay. started. Um, I can't remember too many names other than, you know, Bob Johnson. And, and when Rudy. I started, there was a Bob yeah, and his son, uh, Dwayne. Wayne and Bob, yeah. they started with a P, I don't remember the names right off, but they were father and son and longtime members, and uh, John, uh, oh, yeah, I know you. Uh, you probably, yeah, I can see picture it in the face, et cetera, et cetera, but more of Nowak, I mean, you look at some of the minutes, some of the names um, of previous members, but here again, it only goes back to about 84, 85, okay. at least what records I've got. Okay. And he essentially, um, I think we all kind of, once you got into it, kind of like what the Holy Name stood for mm -hmm. in terms of working, raising money, being actively involved with the parish and sure. you know, supporting our, one of our you know, charter members of St. Vincent de Paul. And, and, and it just kind of expanded in terms of different needs within the parish and the community as a whole. 
I heard uh, Rudy's name. Rudy is the one that drugged me into ushering. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind yeah, of Rudy, Rudy would get on your case. <laughs> and you mentioned Bob Johnson. Any names of others that we've lost over the years that have been big parts of the organization? Think, when you were saying father and son, one guy, or his, both of his sons were part of it at one time. He, he lived not too far away from me by Shepherd Hills. I just, I can't remember the name. But he had two boys that were part of it. And they were only around maybe three years. I think they moved out of town. Oh, I, uh, I was, was it the boys that did the painting? In, in the no, painting? no, it wasn't the gas. Oh, no, gas, the that's gas. who they... No, no. I, I'll have to come up with a name somewhere. I'm sure my wife will remember. <laughs> so talk, let's talk for a few minutes about some of the events that, I mean, the card parties that have been done and the the breakfast. How you know? What's the history behind some of those events? How long is the card? Like for instance, how long have we been doing the card party? Well, they show up. They got a, a perhaps they got a flyer here, and I was a little surprised, but they shows. Uh, oh wow. That was the day, 84. 84, yep. 84 oh, okay. probably might have been one of the first, okay. as far as that event. Uh, the, the Mother's and we've Day done them, we've done, excuse me, well, we've done them every year since, pretty much, or that you can remember anyway, other than the late, the code of the COVID years here? Boy, yeah, I can't remember skipping one since I joined it. Well, since I, yeah, since I was involved in 88, we don't need every year other than COVID. I, I know we did. Yeah. But I, and I don't know if they had prior to this, I got a feeling 84 might have been the first year that they actually did Could the be. card party. Okay. Then in my understanding back then, uh, we did the card party. Uh, that was the always the big one that I can remember. Well, yeah, I think prior to that, I'm not sure if we probably don't have any records in St. Matt's, but there used to be smokers at the parishes, okay? Yeah. And I got a feeling oh, St. Matt's may have conducted some of those as opposed to calling it the car party. Right. Okay. You're right. Right. But I think there was involved. I'm not sure if that was more yep. Holy yep. Neighbor Ushers, though. <laughs> the Usher organization, <laughs> where it was big, too. Well, the other one is Bingo. Yeah, right. Think, Bingo was going I on think, too. I think the Holy Name was a part of Bingo. Bingo yeah, they, yeah, they there were was support some, it in some right. ways. There was some talk. There was a report here about Bingo. That's what I'm saying. I, I do believe the Holy Name was instrumental back in the day when Bingo was hot and heavy. You know, back in the day. Um, I don't personally. I don't remember a lot of raffles and things no. uh, that I can remember. What, what I do, again, remember is the card party or the smoker. Yeah. They call it a smoker Smoke back then, actually. Right, sure. yeah. That's what all the parishes yeah. called, okay. them, called yeah. the smokers. Yeah, I came from St. Stephen's as a child and grew up through St. Stephen's, and, and we had smokers there regularly. Yeah. And I can remember helping at them. Yeah, like I said, I don't care if it was and they were a combination of ushers and holy name. Yeah. I don't remember who roasting it. Yeah. Most of the time, it probably was holy name. Yeah. But, and I think the Archdiocese asked us to kind of change the focus from smoking or smoking well to yeah them. about that time frame okay yeah, summers were, and, and such they were smokers all right they yeah were, oh yeah back they, oh yeah there was, there was no limit the room no was blue yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <All right>. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about uh, what about like the mother's day breakfast that's another big one i know we do uh same how old? that's been most recent yeah. yeah that was more recent that was okay i would probably say not more than 10 years Boy, yeah Okay. Less than 10 years, yeah. I think that has been. Okay. Because I only got records of about four. You know, I would... Well, I, think, I, think, I think it was maybe, maybe it was all back to 2000 almost. I don't know if there's, there's no record on it, though. But I'm trying to, again, I'm trying to place this in correspondence with the kids. Okay. Sure. <laughs> because, yeah. like I say, son, Kyle... Kyle was the last guy born in 91, okay? So I know there was stuff going on at that point in time, but I'm not sure, I don't think the breakfasts were going on. I, I would think it was, it was going on, I would have been involved yeah. in them. Yeah, I think it was after that. And I don't remember. So I, yeah, it can't, can't be any earlier than 2000, for no, sure. No, for sure. Okay, like I say, maybe between there and 2010. Yeah, at the, at, I would say at yeah. the most. Okay. 
But I, I would be on, on the safe side to say 10 to 12 years yeah. at the most. Yeah. yeah. And, and a lot of our yeah. raffles that we've been running, those are most recently within the last five to seven yeah. years. <laughs> right. How did we raise money prior to the raffles? And, or was, was there ever dues or anything like that? Or was it always a... The smoker, I believe. Just the smoker? Yeah, I think so. I don't think there was any other... I don't, I can't remember. Uh, big, big I, I can't remember. No, I, I just don't, don't. Okay. If we just reached out for, if they did donations, uh, but as I best can recollect, mm -hmm. it's been primary, you know, the smoker, and then of course then we did the fall uh, raffle, and then we started doing one in the spring. Right. And then the meat raffles and that we're doing now, those are just within the last three years, two years. So those are relatively new and uh, <laughs> implemented. Um, you mentioned, you talked about um, the original organization that we were kind of by our Sorry. charter Correct. to support was the St. Vincent de Paul Society. What other one? I mean, that we was, still support them, right? Right. Yeah. So what, what, I mean, what other names have talked about some of the others that we've supported over the years. So you guys mentioned scouting and, and well, the most recent are those which we've talked about, you know, right. where you have the Archbishop of Peel, we do something with that, Catholic Charities, um, Relief, we do uh, Vets of Field, we do, um, you know, like the St. Vincent de Paul, Hope House, um, Salvation Army, we've done, uh, what is the one, the, 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 the you know, on the, what, um, I just can't think of it right offhand, but uh, the, we have, as we noticed at the last meeting, about 10 community minded organizations that we've established. And again, one of our, to the forefront went with uh, the youth group that we've been following through mm -hmm. and supporting uh, to the tune of a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars a year towards the youth mission that they would go on on an okay. annual basis prior to the COVID, they would go every year and we would do twelve to fifteen hundred dollars. Yep. And yeah, they they, they were treats. very instrumental in, in supporting us with number of kids that made our uh, function success one easier on us. Um but that was that's always oh, still it represents one of the, the, the larger yeah, ones. Sure. Okay. And, and, and yeah, I, I think that the originally it was just supporting the parish and more or less the funds were going towards the parish. Okay. They Probably weren't necessarily church. Going, yeah, they weren't yeah, necessarily well, they leaving, leave, you know, leaving the parish per se. As okay. much as we are now. Okay. Yeah. And I, I oh, and I would say probably they, well, if you look at what we raised now, it's at least on a when again prior to COVID, we probably did twelve to fifteen thousand in profit or gross sales, and that pretty much we distributed ten to twelve thousand dollars a year. You know, mm -hmm. and, and so um, it was a labor of love, and it was very successful. I see here Mother's Day breakfast. I see one here. What year is that from? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to kind of try. It's in the thing. The rotation is the way of the carpet. Well, it's probably, it's probably, <laughs> so they, they probably did something of a, car, of a, a Mother's Day. 05. 05. Huh? Right. So 05. The treasure was pretty right. close. Like that. 05. What yeah. might be 06 here? The historian. So it might have been right around that, that Yeah, five. as I said, I think somewhere between 2000 and 2010. I remember it's good, but it's getting short. <laughs> it's getting short somewhere in there it was, but like I said, I don't remember. And I said, the only reason I remember is I say, oh. we we're, we're starting to wean away from so doing everything for a kid at the parish. and starting to drain more than the parish. Ray Sagan was very instrumental. Yeah, yeah right, Ray. Ray was, Sagan yeah. was very okay. much, very, yeah. uh, very active. I see his name. And of course, Rudy. It's Lara, Ray Bob so. Sagan's. Dad or, or Ray, uh, Sagan, what they're about. Okay. Carol Sagan. Carol Sagan's their sister, brother, sister. Okay, right. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And Father Brad Bill. Is, Brad's a son. Brad is son. Okay. okay. Correct. But this one was a tool, about 205, these minutes are from. Uh, these. Certainly, this is an '86. Who was the treasurer? Who was the secretary back then? Does it say? 
I was just curious because that's a lot of handwriting. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they say President's report on the Dwayne Alcar. Polster or Pot it started with a P, I think. Pol Polster. Well, something like that. Polster, I think. Oh, yeah, I remember that name. Bob yeah. Johnson's name here. Yeah. Alisa Dominguez Suarez. I don't know who that is. Holy name. Uh, here's 85. Right. Or Novak John. Or Novak. Novak also from, he was over at South Milwaukee. Yes. For years he was very active. Uh, um, oh, what was his name? Yeah, again, I mean, just <laughs> I can picture the individual. Here's names change. Joe Bauer, Frank Grish, Joe Bauer, Greg Foster, and Tom. three sons Father Don, Father John, Cecil Hartcup, Cecil, yeah. Trump, yeah. Cecil, and Steve, Herb Nowak, Fralick, Frank Fralick, Harold Foley. They're, they're, you'll be able to recover some names as we go through here. As far as names, Peter Stakowiak, Carol uh -huh. Foley, uh, Foyer. That's it, Dwayne Froyer and Bob Froyer. Okay. When I came in, um, Dwayne was president, and then eventually then his son, Bob, took over. Yes. Froyer. Okay. Yeah. Ron Cringer. Foster Johnson. Foster, <laughs> Foster was the guy sure. I'm thinking of. Okay. Foster. Foster, he, he brought both yep. of his Jason sons. Jason and in. Damon. Yeah, right. right here. Yes. Good, good. Yeah. Bob Johnson, Harold Foley, Joe Bauer, Cecil Hartung. And again, I think, Fred, when I sent out about the cross, I think it's a, it's a point that I went, I came back and said, well, Holy Name is not about individuals. It's a collection of the individuals that make Holy Name, and Holy Name is what it's, it, it is the feature. Hmm. You know, the individuals just make it a part, you know, we're a backdrop to it. So that's why I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put any names on those bricks. Yeah, okay, right. Yeah, you know, that yeah. kind of thing, yeah. you just Holy Name, and if right. anything, if we felt that. Well taken, I understand. Yeah. If we wanted to put something, some, something. It should be an organization, not a. Individual, individual, individual. Okay. Right. right. Okay. Yeah, and that's mm -hmm. that's the way we would have sure. done it. And, you know, because you, you're always going to leave somebody out, and I'm, I'm a strong advocate of that. You know, when you look back, yeah. 62 years. Yeah. You know, well, there, for instance, Foster's. I know he was part of it. I mean, he brought both of his boys in. There you and go. They were like Keith's age. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Well, I don't know about you guys in general, but me, you know, I got kind of a part of Holy Name back in Pittsville when I was probably 10, 11 years old because my dad was active in Ushers and Holy Name Society back <laughs> in the day. And that was, the idea was to um, set an example and such for your, the kids, the boys, they would come with us, that would come with him to the meetings. Sure. And back then, when you went to a meeting, everybody wore a white shirt and black pants. Oh. Uh, much more sophisticated. I can remember <clears throat> that as, you know, but yeah, it was a, it was a way of nurturing the, the, the boys in the parish and the men. Right. Was it during those, the times when you guys started, was it more, um, it was a bigger different. age difference? I mean, our organization right now, we have to admit is, Probably even more so, there's a lot older, much, much older. Back in the day, I was the young buck. Yeah. yeah. You and I were young. I mean, right. That's Cecil yeah. Hartung was really up there in years. Of course, right. Bob Johnson was up there in Rudy. years. Uh, Foyer, Dwayne, he was up there yeah. probably in his late 70s at, back at that time. Right. Um, so, there, I mean, there, it's there, not... Yeah, there was still a good disparity between ages. Yeah. Back there's then, there's okay. A lot of, wasn't a lot of younger people in there at that point. Right. Okay. I mean, by the time we joined, it was skinning down quite a bit. Yeah, compared it Compared to what it was yeah. when yeah. those guys were young and starting out. Okay. For instance, sure, okay. I'm sure when they started out, they were yeah. all more the closely, time, closely yeah. together in yeah. age. But as time progressed, it just... Right. They, they, they didn't get the following. 
less commitment. <laughs> <coughs> no, for, for what is unfortunate. Yeah, yes, it continues a lot. Here, one of these things, right? Yeah. That's dying away. Yeah. Because it's not continuing as much. Yeah. Yeah. Sports. Sports have taken everybody's concentrated effort, I think. Yeah, I think. More than just, a lot of society type organizations. And, <coughs> and if you look back, here, here's the Holy Name Pledge. That was, when I got, when I started, we always, Bob, Bob Johnson Bob always, right. always led us in prayers as a part of the, Tradition, and, um, pledge, right? and I've not. I know sometimes we did use this pledge. Oftentimes it was something that he did on his own. Right. But this was the Holy Name pledge. Wow. You know, bless me, God. Bless me, His Holy Name. Bless me, Jesus Christ, the Holy you know, True Man. Uh, bless the name of Jesus and so forth. It was an organization that gave honor and glory to Jesus in His name, and worked on behalf of the right. poor in His name. And St. Vincent de Paul is the patron saint of the poor, so therein lies why I believe St. Vincent de Paul, or de Paul was a, um, a charter a charity that was part of the, that would be my assessment that, from what I could see. And we, we, we've gotten more involved, I think, to your credit, in a sense. That's why I saw that thing with the, you know, do things more for the parish. You know, the same came up with the, with the crucifix and, and the flagpole and a couple other things. I, we went ahead and, and put the money in from Holy, from Holy Name in their name. I forget, recently we did like guest house or something uh, like that. Sure. Mm -hmm. But I went through and I asked who, but rather than it being our name, we did it to an organization within the parish. No, it's just a, it's a sponsoring ship, that type of thing. Uh, Fondest memories? Where? By the uh, Holy Name? Yeah. Oh, probably the, the card parties. I mean, the nights of the card party. All the people have come. It's, it's pretty interesting how many regulars we see every year at the card party. I don't know a lot of their names, but I recognize faces. Everybody smiles and says hello. Um, enjoy the meal. They enjoy the meal, yeah. and the, just being able to get together in a spot like that, I think, a lot of times. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think we underestimate how much people look forward to it. Yeah, at least that. There were a lot of people asking when we were going to have it again. Yeah, for I, sure. Okay. And I agree with yeah. you, know, hundred percent. They ask, you know, they they know what's coming. When is it going to be? And, uh, they look forward, there's right. numbers, the fan, you know, people get there and they pretty much everybody knows each other and, yep. and, and it's, yeah, I think it's a, it's a credit to a bunch of people that are pretty much unselfish and that's what you, that's what you do, leave your ego in the hallway, bring your confidence in and let's make it work. Um, mm -hmm. How it's, you it's, pray? it's been nice to be able to expand, I think that's hard, it's, it's heartfelt that we're able to expand our contributions to support to other organizations. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and they're all very well worthy and et cetera, and all in doubt. We Fred? Have, oh, <laughs> oh I, I thought earlier meetings when, you know, uh, like say Tom Nafla was there and Rudy oh, yeah. and that. I, <laughs> yeah. I, Rudy, was, uh, Rudy was a life of any meetings for sure. <laughs> okay, he was... Uh, Rodney Dangerfield, <laughs> basically, is what his attitude was. All right, and he made it. He made it fun for everybody sitting in the meeting. You didn't get into this. Oh, we're we're here for business type thing. All right. Yeah. We're here to be part of the community, and this is a community organization that we are part of. All right, as opposed to a business only type operation. I mean, that's there was a good balance. Fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As far as that, yes. Yeah. There was. A, there, he was. He, 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 he was very serious at times, and you yes. could tell. Yeah. But he kept it light, you know, right. as far as that goes. And, uh, well, and, and along those lines, the things that I've enjoyed are, are just the meetings, even. Just getting up together and getting together on a Sunday morning and, yeah. you know, Discussing. trying to set things up. And then right. uh, uh, I really enjoyed the two, I think I've been to two of them. Or maybe I was just, no, I've been to two of the uh, retreats that retreats. we've done. Oh, okay. I think that's been something nice that that we've started doing too. Right. Uh, and uh, uh, we've actually had pretty good success with it, I think. I mean, with the number of people we've had there each time. Now, so. I, I kind of, I, I suggested that three years ago, my idea was to have more of a, what was traditionally a retreat where you would go 
right be overnight leave leave I, the site yeah that was <laughs> that was my yeah. my original and of course i think the general consensus is it takes a heck of a lot of commitment on the park and a heck of a lot of work to get that kind of a retreat yeah it gets there and, and there's enough room going around organize it whatever right sure but i think we all came to the middle of the road we want to do something for the men of the parish and that's, yeah i think i think it's, I think it's done well, well. Yep. Yep. and it's just going to get it's just yep. it'll get better it'll just continue to, to, to grant and grow and that kind of thing okay any other final thoughts no i, I don't know if there's any other. It's just, we need we need to do something in the fall. Like I said at the last meeting, we need to get this membership, you know, and I'd be willing to we'll talk about it soon, but we gotta get something going. You know, do a pumpkin announcement, we gotta do more than just dog and pony it. We gotta get out there and twist some arms and uh, and, and that's the one thing that when I joined the parish, I think that that's one thing where our, our parish has changed a lot. Because when I joined the parish, Alice and Tom were still here. And they were put, they would, the first thing Alice said was, Alice Kirby, what are you going to become involved in? And what are you going to do in the parish? And I got, I started helping with the senior social. And then for many years, I did this, you know, set up and ran the senior social. Uh, and then uh, uh, Cliff uh, Shelton uh, started helping me and then we eventually transitioned to him uh, to, to, to uh, do that. But, uh, uh, the people pushing, going out, reaching out, like Tom Tom uh, did. Uh, Tom else was pretty Yeah, uh, just reaching out, constantly trying to get stewardship people involved in things. And that's one thing I know that our, you know, I, I don't see as much in our parish anymore. And, and that's, I think, but hurts I, our organizations. But, in, but I in think what's, what's complicated is, I can think, when I joined in 86, there weren't that many community organizations, organizations within the parish. You had home and school. I got involved with the festival. Festival, yeah, I was involved um, with the Holy Name became an afterthought somewhat, mm -hmm. but there weren't that many organizations as there are now today. Okay. So we look, oh, diversified I think and look, spread out a lot. There's 10 or 15. So you don't know about you know, prayer and worship. But so. Uh, I mean, there's just, you start looking, well, I didn't know we had a community like that. Yep. So when you start looking at how much time you can devote to, give to, and so forth, you got you to gotta draw the line someplace. Sure. You do, but I agree with Jeff. There isn't as much promotion of what we do have. There may That's be a lot true. of organizations, but there isn't promotion in front of any of the organizations. Nobody's standing up in front and saying, hey, we need more help, okay, please join us, here's what we do, okay, sign up, all right? Uh, but, but make, just, make, sure you, make sure you don't leave the door until you sign up. <laughs> I, 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 I remind you, though, as I can remember, and again, unfortunately, we had two years with COVID, they had a big organization meeting down in the parish, down in the cafeteria. Yeah. That whole cafeteria right. was full of organizations. Full of organizations. Yeah, yeah. I have that, that's you know, been a while since they've done that. Well, I can say, they, they need the, they do, do that kind of promotion. Right. They, Need more yeah. in your face, right? Yep, exactly. When I when I got involved with the festival and there was nobody wanted the Vanderbilt and I and D and I we took, we, right. took, we yeah. started up and and they they, they said you're not going to get volunteers. I, I repeat myself over and over because I think there's a value. The success in that parish was I told the people you got to go out, shake hands, invite them, make them feel guilty if you would, but if you don't show yeah. up. We're, we're, we stand to make twenty-five to forty thousand dollars if we get enough people, and and we're successful through you, with you, and in you. So sign up, get there, and and we did. Now all the years, yeah, there's some couple of days on Sunday or so, maybe you had a closing game here or there, Mark. We were there very active in the day, but for the most part, you did break an arm, and we, they they came through. So you got to go back to that kind of a. A Sunday, we all dress up in suits, meeting out to all of us in the in the in the welcoming, go up and shake hands with people and invite them. And we well, yeah, let's get a, let's get a a, a plan. That's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. Yeah, um, it's definitely. If if the parish staff is not promoting the organizations, okay, 
we as an organization to need to get ourselves out in front of everybody then. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think as it's like there isn't as much parish push mm -hmm. as when you join. Yeah. Okay. So therefore we have to do it. But I will say though people know no no people they identify you with holy name in different yes. things. Yes, oh yeah. So I mean we're successful in that regard. Successful we they know what we're part of. Right. We just got to convince them to become part of it. There you yeah. go. Perfect. And sometimes all it takes is an invitation. I mean, sure, exactly. I mean, yeah. I, I'm with both of you guys, or all of you guys, that sometimes we just need, as a group, need to go out and ask more. Because yeah. that's how exactly. I got brought in. Right. Daly knew me. Yeah. Mark Zapp knew you, yeah. Mark. Uh, uh, Rudy knew all of us. <laughs> and, and that's how we became, you know, we became members. Uh, uh, I guess we all need a little more Rudy in us than... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, is <laughs> well, you know, there's so many. I mean, uh, this is the way I am a lot of times as a blade, at least. I, I, I used to, I, I worked my, my I, I taught all day and then I did beverage, responsible beverage at night. And I used to dread to get down to class at 3 30. I was beat from the day and have to go back and do three more hours. And I just dread it. But once you got there, you got energized, good, yeah. boom, next thing it's over. And I, I use yeah. the same kind of idea that it's that, it's that commitment. I, and that's the word that I, that I, people do not want to make a commitment. Hardest word in the dictionary. Yeah. Yes, I'll be there, Jeff. Yep. That holds you accountable now. And people want to do that. Yeah. Commitment. That's just my own. Gentlemen, we're at uh, 36 minutes, like he that's said, Mark. I'm not sure. <laughs> How much, what this is going to happen when I hit stop here, but uh, <laughs> to make sure we save what I have, hopefully not have to redo sure. this, I'm going to go ahead and end this. Thank you all for your time and help. And well, uh, you know, this will be, they may use excerpts or the whole video in, in presentation. Yeah, yeah. They were going to put some of it on YouTube, so. Uh, yeah, boy. Um, they'll, they'll, yeah, probably no doubt. I would think they would edit that. Yep. Oh, yeah. They need but they're going to have, I think they'll edit it to take parts of it out for other presentations and things. So thank you all for your help and time. It's uh, 10 till 7 and we're going to end our meeting.